Hello, and thanks for watching. OpenAppSec is an open source initiative that builds on machine learning. It provides preemptive web app and API threat protection against OS Top 10 and Zero Day attacks. OpenAppSec is designed for simple setup and painless maintenance. Thanks to machine learning that doesn't rely on signatures, there is no need in threat signature upkeep and exception handling, like common in many WAS solutions. It can be deployed as add-on to Kubernetes Ingress, Nginx, Kong, Envoy, and API gateways. In this tutorial, we will show you how to protect web applications and APIs by adding OpenAppSec, an automatic machine learning security engine, to a Kong API gateway. We will use a demo API that has multiple security vulnerabilities that will help us demonstrate OpenAppSec's capabilities. You will learn how to attack the API by performing an SQL injection, simple attack for demo purposes. Deploy Kong as API gateway that will serve the API. Deploy OpenAppSec for Kong gateway to protect the API. Attack the API again to see that the protection is effective. And finally, connect your deployment to the web-based management, SaaS. By the way, you can run the Playground environment by yourself by choosing the Playground option at the top menu of www.openappsec.io. Now, let's start the demo. First, we will attack Employee Details API, an API that runs in Docker and responds to HTTP GET requests. I will try to exploit a vulnerability in the API to query details of all employees. The API requires initial authentication to get a token. Therefore, we will perform the authentication required as a manager named John Smith. As you can see, I copied the command in order to access the API using John Smith's credentials. In the response, we received a token that will let us access the API as John Smith. Now let's try to run a request to get details of the employees and see the results. The results indicate that there are three employees under John Smith, Bob, Charlie, and Frank. We will now use an SQL injection attack in the request to get details of more employees. As you can see, the API is vulnerable. I was able to gain access to confidential information about all employees. Now, let's deploy Kong as API gateway that will serve the API. I will now copy this command to download and deploy Kong. Next, I will configure Kong for using declarative configuration without database, and then configure Kong to forward traffic to the application. I will now restart Kong, and to verify the deployment is successful, I will try to access the API through Kong in port 8000, Kong's default port. That's it. Now that Kong is successfully deployed, let's secure it by deploying OpenAppSec. OpenAppSec's deployment is rather simple. I downloaded OpenAppSec for Kong install script and run it. Please note that the prevent mode is used for the purpose of this tutorial, but usually you should start with the default detect learn mode. That's it. I installed OpenAppSec for Nginx and Calm. Additional information about the deployment can be found in the products documentation, which is under docs at the top menu of openappsec.io. OpenAppSec will now check incoming requests before forwarding them to the Kong gateway. Let's see how it affects attempts to exploit the API's vulnerability. To validate OpenAppSec's protection, I will repeat the previous steps again in order to exploit a vulnerability in the API to query details of all employees. However, this time I will be accessing the API via the protected Kong gateway, listening on a different port. I will repeat the SQL injection again using this command. As you can see, this time the attack is blocked by OpenAppSec and I got a 403 forbidden error code. Now it's safe to say that both Kong and the API are protected. The logs are available using this command and include attack and traffic details. At this point, I have a validated working deployment of OpenAppSec. In the next step, we will use OpenAppSec's optional web UI, available at my.openappsec.io which provides central management for multiple open AppSec deployments and their configurations, central logging, monitoring for status and security events and more, and is especially useful for larger deployments. To do this, I will need to connect the open AppSec agent that I have already installed to an existing SaaS management tenant. I access my.openappsec.io and sign up using my GitHub account to access the open AppSec management portal. 
I check the option I deployed an agent, as I already have an agent deployed, click Manage and select Linux Embedded Agent Profile. You will now see the profile page. Under Basic, I select Subtype Kong Application Security. In the Management section, I select This Management to switch to Centrally Managed Mode. The on-screen instructions in the Connect Existing Deployment section are advising to enforce the policy, so let's do it for it to become active. Now, I copy the two CLI commands which include a token to create a secure communication channel between the open AppSec deployment and the cloud. I paste it here and wait. That's it. My open AppSec deployment is now centrally managed. All existing local open AppSec configuration, like the policy I created earlier, was transparently uploaded to the central management tenant. I can now navigate to the Assets page in the web UI and see my protected assets. You can see here the default asset that covers all traffic. Here are the security settings. Logs and security events are now sent to the cloud and can be monitored using the web user interface. The last step is to see how logs are visualized in the web UI. Let's attack again to generate an event and monitor it using the central management portal. I will now repeat the same procedure as before for triggering an SQL injection attack using this command. Let's observe the event in the web UI. I will now go back to the management portal, click on monitoring at the top menu, and then click on important events. We can now see the event in the table. You can double click the event to drill down and see all its details. In addition, this dashboard provides at a glance, traffic statistics and information about attacks. I can drill down by clicking on any of the widgets to see the actual events. The table shows the relevant events for each event. I can see further details such as the HTTP request details, attack source, attack type, and payload that triggered detection. I can also track the learning process, but more on that in another tutorial. In this tutorial, we experienced hands-on, how to protect apps and APIs in Kubernetes by adding open AppSec to a Kong gateway. We hope that you find this training useful. Please note that you can run this tutorial yourself by choosing Playground from the website main menu. For more information, please also see the product documentation available at docs.openappsec.io. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tutorials. Thank you and see you on our next tutorial.